Hi guys, Jamie Hinks here from DraftKings and I've got my eight-man lineup for Thursday and Friday's contest on DraftKings. In goal, I've got Lukas Fabianski, $4,600 from Poland. So far in the tournament, only Shakiri's goal of the tournament is, has beaten him and he has 4.7 saves per game, which is the second highest at the Euros. Cristiano Ronaldo loves to shoot, so plenty more save opportunities here. And I think I'll be low-owned just purely because I think people love to think that Ronaldo's going to score loads of goals. In defence, I've got James Chester, 3,600 from Wales. He's actually got the highest amount of interceptions per game at 3.8 per game at the moment, and he also has 3.8 tackles per game, which scores you points on DraftKings. He had 10 fantasy points against Northern Ireland. Not that he's going to get that many here, but if you get him, you save the money and you can get a bigger guy up front. In defence alongside him, I've got Viorinha, 4,700 of Portugal. He's a sort of archetypal DraftKings type defender, as in he gets forward all the time. He's averaging eight crosses per game. Don't get distracted by his low score against Croatia because that was a really, really poor game where both teams just defended all game. I think he's going to have to attack in this one and he also overlaps with the wide midfielders. In midfield, there's only one guy I could go for. It's Kevin De Bruyne, 9,700 from Belgium. 4.8 shots per game for De Bruyne in the championship so far, which is the best of any Belgian player and actually the third highest behind Ronaldo and Bale. Takes all the set pieces, has three assists, 21.5 fantasy points per game for the tournament so far. And I think his ownership's going to be low because he is, over, I think he's a thousand more expensive than Eden Hazard. Alongside him in midfield, I've gone for Gregor's Krakowiak of Poland. Only 4,900, third highest fouls drawn at 3.5 for the tournament so far. And he also has 3.3 tackles per game and he doesn't concede many fouls with only 0.3 per game. It's very good value and I think he's going to have a lot of chance to make tackles against Portugal. Up front, I've gone for Arcadius Milik, 8,800 for Poland. He's been one of my players of the tournament so far. He's got a goal and an assist, and his dummy for the goal against Croatia was excellent. Also, the Portuguese defence doesn't fill me with a huge amount of confidence, and I think if Poland are going to score, it's not going to be Lewandowski, it's going to be Milik. Alongside him, Gareth Bale, 10,200 for Wales. He's the top scorer in the competition, and I think Wales v Belgium is going to be a high-scoring game. So, I mean, don't look at the defenders too much from this game unless they're cheap. Go for the strikers, and in particular, go for Gareth Bale. 4.8 shots per game, remember, which is behind only Ronaldo. Utility player, I've gone for Laurent Simon, who is only 3,500, plays for Belgium, plays at fullback. I think England had a lot of joy against Wales with their fullbacks, and I reckon he's going to get forward all game. Wasn't very good against Italy, but I think you just forget about that game and you think Wales are nowhere near as good as Italy, so Belgium do really well. So, guys, good luck picking your lineups, and I hope you win.